Welcome to the Superfast Touch Designer tutorial series. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to build these spirograph or mandala shapes. I'm using the simplest method I've found so far. Of course, there are dozens of ways to solve this, but here we'll go for the ridiculously straightforward version. From here, you can explore much more interesting variations. What I really like about this version is that the spirograph lives in 3D, which gives us depth, and I've avoided feedback because that blurred, smudged look doesn't always help the final composition. Chapter 1. Overview. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at how this network is structured. Once you see this section, the rest of the tutorial will click into place. The main network is where I create the spirograph, starting with a line pop. I animate that line using a noise pop to give it organic motion. After that, I connect a revolve pop to give volume to the line. For color, a lookup texture works perfectly, referencing a ramp for the palette. Finally, I use a copy pop to rotate the undulating structure around the y-axis, which creates the spiral. The trick now is to convert the geometry into lines. For this, I simply use a convert pop. I won't dive too deep into rendering here, but I'm using a PBR material with an environment light. You could use a line or point material, but since I want to mix meshes and lines later, PBR gives me more flexibility. At the very end, I've added a luma blur and a bloom for the post-process finish. All right, with that quick overview, let's jump into the actual tutorial. A quick pause. If we haven't met yet, I'm Okamirufu, and my life's purpose is to create, inspire, and educate through my work as a creative technologist focused on touch designer. I'm jumping in just for a moment to let you know that I've built a growing community on school, where you'll find beginner and intermediate courses, exclusive tutorials, and a library of downloadable project files including special bundles you won't find anywhere else. But more than that, it's an active, thriving space. For example, in one of the exclusive tutorials I uploaded recently, there are already tons of people interacting, sharing project files, asking questions, and helping each other. It goes far beyond a traditional academic setting. I've put a lot of energy into making it practical, efficient, and fun. And the best part? This space is slowly integrating all the value I've already built on Patreon, all in one place for the same price. I truly hope to see you there, sharing knowledge, experimenting together, and asking the questions that help us all grow. I'll leave all the links in the description. Chapter two, network. Get ready for the shortest touch designer tutorial ever. First, create a line pop. Make sure the X coordinates of both points are set to zero and five. Then increase the divisions to 200. Next, connect a noise pop. Here I animate it using absolute time dot seconds, divided by 15, so the movement loops continuously. Feel free to experiment with as many noise parameters as you like, dash, dash. But here are the values I ended up keeping. After that, connect a revolve pop. Leave the axis on auto. For connectivity, you can use quadrilaterals. Play with the divisions depending on your GPU. In my case, I used 20. Now connect a lookup texture pop and create a ramp top. Reference the ramp inside the lookup texture top parameter. In the Output Attribute Scope, select Color. If you want, set the first channel's input extend mode to Mirror. The rest can stay at defaults. Pick whatever colors you like inside the ramp. This part is entirely up to you. Create a copy pop and make 24 copies and move them on the y-axis by 15 units. Here you have space to explore hundreds of variations. Now create two convert pops. The first one converts the mesh into line strips. The second one converts it into points only. For each convert, add a transform pop to give an infinite rotation on the y-axis. 
I'm driving that rotation with abs time dot seconds multiplied by 15. Copy this transform down to the points branch, so both rotate the same way. Connect everything into a geocomp and start tweaking render options. I've used the points only as an extra depth layer. You can scale or shift them slightly inside the geo component to enhance the effect. The rest is just standard rendering, which you already know from earlier tutorials. And that's it. Remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. With this technique, you can try hundreds of ways to create spirals, mandalas, or other types of compositions. I hope you've successfully completed this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments.